Truth Tables, Part 3, Using Truth Tables to Test for Validity. Remember that truth tables display the possible truth values of claims. They allow us to evaluate the truth values of claims as they become increasingly complex. And they allow us to test arguments for validity. A common use of truth tables is to test arguments for validity. An argument is valid if it is not possible for the premises to be true and the conclusion false. In other words, if the premises are true, the conclusion must be true. The premises may not be true, and the conclusion may just happen to be true for other reasons, regardless of whether the premises are true. But in a valid argument, if the premises are true, so is the conclusion. Now, how can we tell? whether an argument is valid using truth tables. Remember that rows are possible worlds, truth values a claim could have, even if it doesn't actually have them. So if we check all the rows of an argument and no row has all true premises and a false conclusion, that argument is valid. Consider the following valid argument form, known as modus ponens. Premise 1, if P, then Q. Premise 2, P. Conclusion, Q. To test this argument for validity, we need to construct a truth table for each of the claims. So line up the claims horizontally and separate the conclusion with the sign we'll call the conclusion sign. Now, once we've constructed our truth table, we simply ask whether there are any rows where the premises are all true and the conclusion is false. So in the first row, all the premises are true, but the conclusion is true. So it's not the case that all the premises are true and the conclusion is false. In the second row, or second possible world, not all of the premises are true. So this doesn't violate our conditional, if the premises are true, then the conclusion must be, because in this case the premises aren't. Similarly with rows 3 and 4, not all of the premises are true. So it's not the case that in any row that all the premises are true and the conclusion is false. Even though in rows 2 and 4 the conclusion is false, since not all the premises are true, this doesn't invalidate the argument. Now let's look at an invalid argument. This is a fallacy called affirming the consequent. So if you recall that a conditional is made up of two component features, an antecedent, the claim that comes before the conditional operator, and a consequent, the claim that comes after the conditional operator. So in this case, rather than affirming the antecedent, as we do in modus ponens, we affirm the consequent. Unfortunately, affirming the consequent and then trying to derive any particular thing claim about the argument is fallacious. If P, then Q. Q, therefore P. Once we construct our truth table, we can see that, in fact, there is one row where the premises are true and the conclusion is false. Now, remember, you're only comparing major operators. So we're only comparing the column under the conditional the column under Q and the column under P. The column, the, the grade columns under P and Q in the conditional are what combine to give us the truth value column under the conditional. So we're only paying attention to the major operators. But here we see in row three, all the premises are true if P then Q is true, and Q is true, but P is false. This is a possible way these truth values could turn out. If that's true, then it is possible for all the premises to be true and the conclusion false in this argument. Therefore, this argument is not valid. And it only takes one row to invalidate an argument. It's important to remember that even if all of the other rows don't invalidate the argument, if one row does, the entire argument is invalid. Okay, so what happens when an argument has many unrepeated variables? 
In this case, we have six variables. We would need a truth table with 64 different rows in order to be able to use a full truth table to test for validity. But now that we know how truth tables work, there's a simpler method for testing for validity. For more on this method, see part four, the short method of testing for validity.